Hello everybody, this is Neil Feiner. I'm so happy to be here again with the weekly astrological message for the week between the 5th and the 12th of December 2020. I have some great announcements. I have some things to share. And we're going to talk about this week in the sky. And I've decided that I'm going to share with you my first application of my hormones and finally after many years after doing everything I needed I can start taking HRT hormonal replacement therapy I have two pills here this is a pill that blocks all male hormones called Andropur and this is um, patches that distribute estrogen in my body so goodbye Mars hello Venus and I'll be doing this together with you. I need to put them on my bottom. So we'll see how we'll get that on camera. But um, I've decided that I want, I, want, I want to share this moment with you. So this would be happening. We're going to be talking about this week. And as I said, I have some announcements. So first and foremost, I want to remind you all that all my lessons, private lesson courses in Zoom or private sessions with me readings are all 25% off Corona COVID-19 special discount. So utilize it. Secondly, in June, two things happen. One, after about eight years that I've been trying to catch a sexual predator that's been... Um, imposturing as an astrologer here in Israel has been um, sexually uh, attacking women and the police did not do anything about that and since I am OPA's representative in Israel the organization for professional astrology I get all the casualties from people pretending to be astrologers and here is a sexual predator that uh, um, sexually attacks women and claims to be an astrologer after many years that we've been trying to catch this guy finally a uh, national TV investigative uh, reporter set a trap up for this man and we caught him on camera and that's a very happy thing that happened in June the same day that that happened in June that we yes Georgia yes what do you want to say the same day that that happened back in June uh, I or well, the same week I said on my video because some of you are aware that through 2020 there was a big scandal in the world of astrology with a very famous astrologer that um, some of his students came forward and said uh, that he's been having sexual uh, interactions with them and that wasn't ethical and he apologized and it was a big thing and on the same week I came out and said 20 years ago Alan Oaken did the same thing to me Alan Oaken was immoral and um, yeah Alan Oaken uh, basically um, had sex with me and I was very young I was in my early 20s he was 33 years my elder he was a big 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 astrologer I was awestruck by his attention and he pushed me into bed and a moment later he was gone and I felt very bad very very bad because of it it wasn't forced and but it was totally immoral and it was shameful for someone in a spiritual capacity to act that way and I came out on my video on June and it made some pillars in the pond and I never heard about it again and through this weekend and uh, Ellen Oaken was supposed to speak for ESAR and I'm very thankful for people like Christina Codlil and Jez Abel and Tartal and David Cochran 
and Richard Smooth and Victoria Smooth and really everybody on the ESAR board and all my friends in the astrological world for taking this matter seriously enough and ESAR has announced that Alan Oaken's lecture that was scheduled for this Saturday is postponed until further notice and I really hope because I'm not on a manhunt for Ellen Oaken or for anybody else I hope that we all learn to be good people and do good things and have a good life in that order and that's what I wish for Ellen Oaken as well but I feel it's very hopeful and positive that international big professional astrological organizations are now stepping up the requirement for morality and ethical behavior from their presenters as big as they may be in the astrological world and that happened alongside with the broadcasting this Sunday just the one day after of the television show about this sexual predator so again it occurred together in June and it's occurring now together as well as this is broadcasted on Israeli national TV and finally his face would be known and no more women would be hurt so we are in a new day and age where matriarchy lifts its head after many years of subordination to the male patriarchy and we can all learn from the feminine within I certainly do um, with these now <laughs> so um, let's go down to the week and then at the end I'm gonna take these with you so on this week the fifth Saturday not so such a stable day but generally pleasant Sunday Venus is trining Neptune so Venus the plan of satisfaction our existence within the material plane and our relationship with the material plane our satisfaction and value from being in a body in a material plane is trining Neptune the planet of dreams illusion spirituality inspiration so on the one hand this is a very inspirational time this is a time that we could write great poems and we could uh, indeed converse with the muses this is a great time for us to bring a bit of that eternal magic into the plane of reality to utilize our imagination and harness it to create a better world but we have to be careful not to be too ideal not to be too idealistic not to be utopian or too dreamy or put our rose-colored spectacles on and believe the world is pink don't be too romantic about things that's uh, um, but do enjoy it god damn it enjoy it <laughs> um, Monday nothing to say about Monday Tuesday let's say Eastern European time from noontime onwards this becomes a very powerful day and great for utilizing in career arenas or things you really have to pull forward on a strategic level uh, Wednesday however we have the Sun squaring Neptune this is a time of illusion and disillusionment this is a time that we could doubt everything and indeed Robert Hand says about this aspect do doubt everything <laughs> when it happens in your natal chart not in the sky and transiting do doubt everything but don't act upon it just yet don't act upon it just yet don't do anything long term or consequential just you know simmer with it a bit you know let it boil let it simmer let yourself be impregnated with that doubt and with that um, ability to pierce through what you thought is real and find it is an illusion 
This is a time from discerning, for discerning between illusion and reality. And many times, this is a time that we could mistake one for another. Um, on Thursday, Venus is sextiling Pluto. When Venus sextiles Pluto, all our need to become intimate, to become more involved in relationships that are deeper and more authentic with others, and in a relationship that is deeper and more authentic with myself, that requires more intensivity, deeper, more extreme experiences, more involvement on our part, more symbiotic kind of interaction is heightened. So all our relationships, not just our, rela or no, not just our romantic ones, also our relationship with, our, with ourselves, with the way we bring income and value into our life, with our friends, with work colleagues, become apt to transformation into something more authentic and deeper and more transformative in a way that would provide us with satisfaction and value. That's a good thing. So intimately, it's a good aspect. You know, if you want to become intimate over the weekend, it's a recommendation from your astrologer. But in any other kind of level, this is a good thing as well. And it's here for a few days after and prior. So enjoy it. Friday, don't be too judgmental. Watch yourselves and don't be intolerant. And we have the sun shining Mars. This is a time of great energy. A few days after, a few days past, we could actually set landmarks and reach them. You know, this could make us feel as if we can. A yes, we can attitude. But we need to be careful not to be too impulsive and, and domineering and unsensitive regarding others' territory, the territory of others, or you know, the need or sensitivities of others. Um, Saturday looks good. Saturday looks like a good day. So, it's time, huh? Let's, let's do it, folks. Let's, let's say goodbye to Mars and hello to Venus and take this. So, yeah. That's it, it's done. I don't believe it's fucking done. So many years I've been waiting for this moment to come and thank you for sharing it with me. This is a dream come true for me. And I feel very blessed. And hopefully this would be another magical part of this journey called life. May we all live long and prosper. Amen.